Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Privacy Eraser Free. It is designed to be basically a drive cleaner with the options of being able to protect your privacy by shredding files and completely making sure that they're gone. So what you see when you get here, you can download it as portable or as an installer. This is what you'll get when you come to your front screen. Scan, quick clean, clean and restart, clean and shut down. So I'll click the scan real quick and show you how it works. Won't take too long on here because I don't have a lot of junk going on. And as you can see, it will break down what it's finding, but you can't edit it. So I can't come here at Internet History. Oh, it moved on me. And I'll say Cookies. I click it, nothing. I can clean and restart and the same things you saw over here just a minute ago. But I can't look at it and determine if there's something in there I want to save. From here, you can simply quick click on the quick clean which is just what it is it's just your default option unless you want to restart when you're done go get a cup of coffee or shut down go to bed for a night just click it and walk away now it has secure file deletion by default here it is normal on your everyday scan I'd like to see them give this to you for free but you have to spend 20 or 60 for a lifetime license to get at this. One of the problems here is CCleaner offers a three, a seven, and a 35 pass for free. But it does do other things we'll get to in just a little bit that are included with it as far as shredding goes. So let's break this down a little bit. You can come over here to Windows and decide what it is you want to do. This is one nice thing about the program is it's got a ton of different things. Uh, I like to get rid of error reporting, for example, stuff like that. Prefetch is questionable. It was off by default. Uh, people have been debating that for years. It's pretty well determined. It doesn't help, which is why most of them have it unchecked now. Uh, let's see here. There's a registry cleaner sitting over here and your browsers. So you can come in here if you want to keep your cookies, just uncheck it or anything you're not sure of. If you want to get rid of your saved passwords, that's kind of nice. So autofill, bleh, autofill history, blah, blah, blah applications whatever it finds junk files relating to adobe flash defender and so on and so forth and if you watch as you go through here you'll find some of these over here like applications has little sidebars here that you can play with so you could spend quite a bit of time in here you have your file shredder so you add files you can simply just find a file put it in there and simply hit start to shred it and again this one will do the one pass so as you can see, it does do the one pass every here and there, but to really do what the program advertises, you really have to purchase the pro version. Otherwise, you're just getting the one pass, which isn't the greatest thing. Probably get the job done. In other words, if you one pass means it's going to overwrite where the file was that you deleted. So there's one, three, seven, thirty-five. The more times you overwrite where a file is, if you've ever had to recover anything, you know that you can't recover it after it's been rewritten over and over. For example, if you tried to get a picture, but it was lost a year ago, the odds of finding it are impossible because it's been overwritten repeatedly. Anywho, Chrome setup. So you can remove it if you change your mind, etc. Your drive wiper, we mentioned this. So what this does, so you don't get scared, it's not actually a drive wiper, more of a drive, more of wiping free space as we just discussed. So you can take your C drive and click start and it will do a one pass over everything that is free space. So nothing can be recovered. Tools, because all these drive cleaners are never just drive cleaners anymore. You have your Windows Startup Manager. You can disable it here, which is always a good idea. So if you have a highlighted, try disable first. Usually don't remove unless you know what you're doing. Your uninstaller. I'm more of a fan of using some of the standalone uninstallers, but it's there. System Restore. I don't have any points, but if you did, it would be right here. And you would just click Remove to get rid of it. So that's nice if for some reason you have a pile of restore points wasting space and miscellaneous now under the miscellaneous you have your IE settings there's nothing for Chrome or Firefox in here but if you wanted to change some of this basic information window titles start page etc and your add-on manager so this is a little tricky you have your Google which is my Google Chrome etc and Microsoft and so on and so forth so you can go into these add-ons if you know it's something you don't want you can click disable or you can click remove to get rid of it and it will warn you and basically that's about it that I can remember so click home at any point it'll bring you right to that if you want to start again 
click to that and it'll bring you right back here there also are one of the things I'll give the program props for we showed you all of these settings here and all the different options you have to really tweak the machine to get it clean the way you want while preserving what you want the settings are pretty well kind of along the same thing you have security how you're gonna delete files once again don't forget your file shredder you do get the one pass there so that's cool drive wiper you do get the one pass there to at least try it out exclusions so we always need a whitelist a scheduler so if you wanted to set up the schedule and want it to run once a week always like that monitoring that's up to you you can system monitor browser monitor multi-users hotkeys and if you want to change the way it looks a little bit well I guess you can't sort of like the old uh, model T comes in one color there you go so that is privacy eraser free right outside the window over here there's a little subscribe button should be showing up right now if you click that we do appreciate it and we thank you for watching and listening and we'll see you next time